Patrick, you basically won all there is to win in this league. Multiple Stanley Cups. City score! The Hawks have won the Stanley Cup! MVP, playoff MVP, scoring title. The Highline Rio goal! That's 400 for Patrick Kane! By all accounts, this surgery and rehab wasn't easy, so why did you put yourself through it to come back? Um, a little bit of a sour taste in my mouth after last year. I think it's one thing when you're maybe retiring because of, you know, your age or something like that, but this was more of an injury, like it's just kind of one part of my body that didn't feel good. If we could fix that up, I could still get back to an elite level and play at a high level. So that's the reasoning for coming back is to get back to that high level, feel it again, and um, just be excited about, you know, being one of, a, one of the top players. Do you still consider yourself one of the top players in this league? I mean, yeah, when, when you know, I'm feeling healthy and feeling good, yeah, of course. The last year, I don't think I was, but, you know, even before that, I was still injured and, and put up 92 points in a season, so it's like, yeah, I feel like I can get back to that level and um, even better than you were in the past. How would you describe the pain you were feeling in your hip the last couple years? Anytime I would take a, hip on, a hit on the right side of the hip, the joint would kind of compress and I would basically feel like bone on bone. So your leg like shuts down for like 30 seconds or 45 seconds, just painful, right? So you're almost like playing the game not to get hit, which, you know, you can't do it in this league. You're thinking about it every day. You're like, just, I don't want to say miserable, but it's just, um, you're always thinking about it. As it was described to you, what are the risks of having this hip resurfacing surgery? I think maybe the biggest risk was uh, just the uh, the unknown factor. Not many guys have had the surgery, so you don't really you don't really know too much about it. You you know hear about the success of resurfacing in the NHL. You're thinking you know maybe should I have done that? Should I not have done that? But I'm really optimistic about the process. Yeah, hopefully be a pioneer in that way and uh, um, you know try to play for a long long time here. You played 16 years in Chicago. You're a legend in Chicago. And now you're playing for their biggest historical rival. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, what's that like? Just following Chelios, I guess. I don't really view it as like I'm you know, betraying the Hawks organization or anything like that. It's just more of like a great opportunity for me to come here and play. You've said that you wanted to play in a city where hockey's really important. Some guys shy away from that. Why do you mm. seek it out? Um, I don't know. Maybe it's because I love hockey, too. Find the Kane left circle. Shoot, he scores! Patrick Kane! On, like, off nights, put the baby to bed, and then, you know, I turn on hockey and watch, watch hockey the rest of the night. You think about Detroit and Hockey Town and... The history of the organization and the respect this organization has around the league, it's right at the top. So, um, yeah, that was definitely a factor as well. You're 137 points away from surpassing Mike Madonna, most points ever for an American-born player. Do you think you can do it? Yeah, I mean, yeah, for sure, why not? Mike was an amazing player and one of the guys I looked up to. So, yeah, I mean, I think I can play for, for quite a while, so it'd be, uh, it'd be nice to do.